In this lesson, we introduce the possessive s in English. First, here's an example of s used to make the plural form of most nouns. Those boys are riding bicycles. Hey, look over there. Those boys are riding bicycles. Let's ask them to come with us. In this case, we are talking about, or writing about, more than one boy, and more than one bicycle. So, it would be wrong to add an apostrophe before the S in either of the words. Sometimes in English, we add E S to a plural noun. Sometimes, plural nouns might even end with I E S. We'll talk more about these words in a later video. Now, let's take a look at two examples of the possessive form used with singular nouns. Number one. The student has a pen. The pen is on the table. The student's pen is on the table. Number two. The man has a car. The car is in the garage. The man's car is in the garage. In each of these sentences, we use apostrophe s to show that something belongs to someone. Which bicycle belongs to the boy? The one on the right. The boy's bicycle is black. Let's take a look at this sentence. It's correct because we add apostrophe s to show that one student has a red book. Sentence number two is almost the same, but it talks about more than one student. So you might want to add an s and then add apostrophe s. But this is not correct. You have five seconds. How can you fix the mistake in sentence number two? Where are Susie's pens? Where are Jack's pens? The students' pens are on the table. So, now we know that, with plural nouns that end with s, we simply add an apostrophe to the end of the word to show possession. However, in English, there are few nouns that are special. Here is one example of what I mean. The child has a toy. The children have toys. The children's toys are on the floor. Where are the toys? The children's toys are on the floor. <laughs> Here are a few of the more common, irregular plural nouns that you might use to show possession. How many times did you call Tom? That's my cousin's house. They live there. She is the children's mother. 